Well, it's kind of a difficult question because there are elements of the lipid hypothesis that have a basis in reality, and there are elements of the lipid hypothesis that basically don't. The idea that cholesterol causes heart disease is really a total uh, load of junk, but the idea that lipids in the blood have something to do with heart disease, which is, you know, a com which is one very loose way of interpreting the lipid hypothesis, has gathered a lot of evidence. But it's focused the blame, at least in, uh, in a critical review of the scientific literature, it has focused the blame not on cholesterol and certainly not on eating cholesterol, but on eating too many polyunsaturated fatty acids from vegetable oils, not having a high enough antioxidant intake, and not having a high enough metabolism and all the nutrients that are needed uh, for metabolism to utilize the lipids in the blood efficiently. Because basically the lipoprotein particle is sent out from the liver into the blood and it's not like a cell where the cell constantly produces antioxidant defenses when it needs them. It's packaged up with antioxidant defenses that only last so long under the assumption that that lipoprotein particle is going to get used. But if your cells aren't taking it up and using it efficiently, then that's kind of like taking a bottle of vegetable oil, opening the cap, and letting it sit on the counter for a week. It's going to go rancid. So the same thing is true of the lipoproteins in your blood. If they're high in these polyunsaturated fatty acids that are especially rich and um, abundant in vegetable oils, and um, if you're not actually using them, then you start to see the degeneration of those polyunsaturated fatty acids. Um, so that's, uh, that's one aspect of the lipid hypothesis that has turned out to be true, and maybe you could call that the oxidized lipid hypothesis or the degenerating lipid hypothesis, um, but has completely refuted the old idea of, you know, you eat cholesterol, cholesterol goes up, cholesterol goes into the artery wall.